Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Run It Up. I know it's been a little minute, man. It was a slow month in January, but February is definitely jam-packed with a lot of sneaker releases, and that's exactly what we're talking about today, man. So stay tuned. We're gonna be talking about the top sneaker releases in the month of February 2022, man. Keep it locked. All right, so like I said, January was a real slow month for sneakers, man. I'm not gonna complain. It really helped out my pockets for sure. Not dropping, you know, uh, not dropping loot on some shoes every week. So definitely excited though, man. February has a lot of dope sneaker releases. Uh, a couple that are probably gonna be personal pickups. Well, we're gonna have to see, but um, definitely a lot of dope sneaker pickups. A lot of money to be made. Uh, just a lot of cool shoes to look out for. So without further ado, man, let's get into it. So first things first, on the 2nd of February, man, we got a couple restocks. It's been Restock Central. Uh, we just had a couple sneakers pass, uh, or whatever they're called on Sneakers app. The Jordan Reserve, the Jordan Reserve restocks. We just had a few of those last week on like the, uh, the what's it called? The Cool Grays on like the Royalty Taxis and stuff like that. But uh, we do have a few more restocks in the tuck for Nike, man. We got a lot of Dunks restocking. Most notably, the black and white, man, the pandas. The pandas are restocking on the second for $100. And you know everyone and their mom's going to be after those. So that's one of my top restocks for that day. But alongside those, we do also have the uh, Brooklyn Nets restocking. And uh, a couple other ones that are dropping, I think, for the first time. We have a woman's colorway, the Harvest Moon. Those are pretty clean. Those are definitely going to be uh, a hype cop. And we also have the Venice it's also a woman's cop. It's kind of like just a light gray Nike Dunk. Classic color blocking, nothing too crazy. And also alongside those pandas, we have the reverse pandas that are dropping for the first time. That is a women's exclusive colorway. Uh, pretty much same colors used on the pandas, just not an exact reverse of the pandas, but I mean, close enough, I guess, right? Also on the second, we do have LaMelo Ball's MB1 Buzz City dropping that's the black and kind of teal colorway pretty much matching the uh charlotte hornets uniform really dope colorway in my opinion this is the second colorway to release in his first signature collection and it's definitely getting some buzz so definitely be on the lookout for those on to february 3rd man we got some more restocks this time not nike we got some new balance and if you were following me last year, I'm definitely a part of New Balance Boys, man. New Balance definitely stole the show last year, in my opinion, with the collabs and just the silhouettes that they were putting out. My favorite being the 550, which is what's restocking on the third. We got the black and white colorway and the UNC colorway of the uh, New Balance 550, man. Now, like I said, I think this is the best silhouette, in my opinion, out right now. Something a little bit new, something refreshing my favorite silhouette to wear at the moment so definitely looking forward to picking up that unc colorway i did try a couple times before was not able to secure those but i definitely will be trying my hand on the third also on the third we do have a nike dunk low in a dark marina blue colorway dropping uh these are pretty cool it kind of just has like a blueberry ish vibe nothing crazy uh this year we can definitely expect nike to keep pumping out nike dunk lows uh the popularity didn't really die down at all last year although the resell on a lot of pairs uh did start to diminish just because they have been putting out so many pairs but the popularity is still there they definitely sell it every time regardless of the price so definitely if you are looking out for this pair make sure you're on the ball moving over to the 5th of february man we have the first actual retro dropping and this is going to be the air jordan 4 infrared uh this isn't my favorite colorway this pretty much mimics the uh what's what were they called the green glows a few years ago if you remember those green glows pretty much had the same color blocking and instead of the red hits there you would see little hits of this like mint green but um it's a cool colorway man nothing crazy i'm not mad at you if you cop these but Definitely not something that I'm looking forward to personally. All right, moving on to February 12th, we do have a couple different releases. 
Uh, I'll skip through the grade school ones, not really paying attention to those, but we do have a Nike Dunk Low Prime Pink. It's a women's colorway. Uh, pretty much a all pink Nike Dunk. Nothing too crazy, but I mean, it's sure to be popular with the women. So if you're a woman or if you really like pink, definitely be on the lookout th for those on the 12th. And also on the 12th, we do have an Air Jordan 5 dropping in the racer blue colorway. These, these are pretty cool, man. Uh, not a must cop in my opinion, but if you are a fan of fives, if you are a fan of the color blue, then definitely something that you'll probably want to pick up for your personal collection, man. A lot of different blue Nikes dropping this year, or Jordans rather. A lot of blue colorways. I'm not a huge blue guy, but uh, I can definitely appreciate them. And then speaking of blue, on the 16th of February, we have the Air Jordan 1 OG High in the dark marina blue finally dropping, man. Now these, I believe, originally were supposed to drop, I think, last year, man. We started seeing them probably middle of last year. Leaked images started coming out and whatnot. And I think they were originally supposed to release at the end of last year. But as we know, with shipping delays and everything like that. All these dates are still subject to change, really, because nothing has been really moving on time in the sneaker world. But the Dark Marina Blues are finally set to drop on the 16th. Um, not, again, not super excited about these, but I know a lot of people are. If you don't have Royals in your collection, then I definitely think that these are a great alternative, and you don't have to spend four or five hundred dollars. So definitely expect a lot of people to be copying those in place of royals all right february 18th now i think this is uh this is gearing towards all-star weekend now all-star weekend we should be seeing quite a few dope releases man we are seeing a couple come out from that boy lamello ball he's coming out with the rick and morty pair of his mb1s which is probably gonna be a pretty high pickup man i can definitely see a lot of people going up for after those especially the younger crowd uh, Lamelo is a big fan favorite with the young, the youngins, and Rick and Morty is a big fan favorite with the youngins and with the grown folk too. So I definitely expect a lot of people to be picking those up. Um, I think that's going to be a lot of people's first pickup from his first, you know, signature collection. So definitely expect expect those to go quick. And he's also dropping another the gray and red pair alongside those, kind of just a more tame colorway. Uh, I think. I want to kind of hoop in a pair of these, man. I want to see what they're hitting for. I know a few people have already done so, and they have gotten pretty good reviews so far. So definitely need to check out a pair of those for myself pretty soon here. Uh, and then also on the 18th, we have the Nike Dunk Low Midas Gold dropping. This is uh, probably, I think, the dopest dunk dropping in this month. Uh, it's kind of like a USC color combination on these Nike Dunk Lows pretty dope got that uh you know varsity gold with the kind of like a darker red looks very very dope in my opinion uh overall i don't know if i'm gonna cop though like i said nike dunks have just been saturating the secret the sneaker world so i kind of been laying laying off from a little bit because uh i mean i just don't like wearing what everyone else is wearing still love the dunks you know they had their time but uh, i'm not pressed on them right now basically also, we have the women's exclusive Nike Dunk Low in the blue paisley colorway dropping. These are pretty clean, man. These are pretty clean. I think these are a dope women's shoe. I definitely expect a lot of women to be going after these. Uh, just that whole paisley collection is pretty clean. Uh, definitely expect those to be popular. Definitely expect those to have a little bit more resale than than Dunks have been having lately. So if you'd want any of those, I recommend you, you know, you be on the ball for that. All right, and then the 19th, we have finally an actual OG colorway dropping, man. We have the Air Jordan 12 Retro in the Playoff colorway coming out. Now, this probably, I could see this being my only personal cop for the month of February. And I still don't even know if I'll really, really keep them. Because, I mean, I don't rock 12s like that, but it's just a clean shoe, man. It's really just a clean shoe. Can't complain at all. Playoff 12s classic you know can't go wrong with a pair and they are dropping at two hundred dollars definitely expect them to sell out uh, i don't see resale being too crazy probably around 250 ish similar to what we saw for those uh those royalty taxis 
but uh, I definitely wouldn't sleep if you are looking to get a personal pair. And then wrapping up the month on the 24th, we have the women's release Air Jordan 4 Retro Canvas. Uh, this is a pretty dope colorway, man. This kind of reminds me of the uh, the women's off-white release that happened, what, two years ago now? But um, just a dope, clean Air Jordan 4. Not too much going on. Can't really go wrong with it. It is hitting for 200 though, so... Uh, don't know if the ladies are gonna be you know feeling that but as we know with all women's release the men are definitely going to be scooping them up and then also on the 24th we have the air jordan 3 cardinal red this is probably one of the dopest releases of the month dope new colorway uh new colorway on the jordan 3 anyway obviously this is inspired from the cardinal sevens that dropped back in the day uh dope color blocking color combination in my opinion definitely something different to bring to the jordan 3 however with the jordan 3 fire reds coming out later this month and even i mean later this year and even the muslins coming out pretty soon as well i don't know if these cardinal red threes are necessarily a must cop and then on the 26th we have the air jordan 1 retro high og uh in the what brotherhood colorway is what they're calling it this is Pretty much a nod to Michael Jordan's fraternity, but it very much looks like a Lakers colorway, so definitely expect those to be scooped up with the swiftness. If you definitely want a pair, make sure you do the footwork if you do hope to secure them for retail because they will fly fast. Well, uh, like I said, man, I did not hit on every single release that is happening in February, those are just the main ones that are on my radar that I'm looking out for. Uh, we do also have some Yeezy restocks planned to happen. The Blush 500 should be restocking soon. Uh, the Rock colorway of the Yeezy boots and the Oil colorway of the Yeezy boots as well should be restocking this month. Um, and it is also rumored that we might see a Yeezy slide slash home running release. So we'll see if that actually happens this month or not. I know with shipping delays and everything going on, nothing's really concrete but definitely be on the lookout for those dates to be announced here pretty soon. Uh, and like I said earlier, any of these dates that I mentioned in the video are subject to change. Nothing is a thousand percent set and so anything can change at any time. So don't come after me if something doesn't drop on the release date that I said previously. But that's all I got for y'all today, man. Those are my main releases for the month of February. Let me know what you guys are looking forward to. Let me know if I missed any big ones. Definitely have some dope videos coming up soon. So make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Like the video for your boy and peace catch y'all next time catch you on the flippity flip <laughs>